Hi guys, welcome to this video about the total chlorine levels in your pool and what it means, uh, what it means when it's low, when it's high, um, what to do, how to adjust. So usually when you have um, like a pool outside swimming pool which is not covered always has a good amount of sun then usually you don't have to care about total chlorine or combined chlorine so usually the levels of total chlorine will be about the same as the free chlorine and free chlorine you see what levels are okay which levels are high and of course the total chlorine is the f amount of free chlorine plus the combined chlorine so unfortunately the combined chlorine which is also somehow really important is nowhere on these test strips when you buy such test strips you won't find it i haven't seen on any of the test strips so that means you have to calculate how much it is so if you have a total chlorine of 10 which is really high usually and you have a free chlorine let's say which is okay like 2 ppm or so so if you have 10 minus 2 makes 8 8 is the combi amount of combined chlorine and yeah the total uh, eight, 8 ppm of uh, combined chlorine is very high so this, this is definitely not good so it's a little bit strange that like this um, here this uh, plate on this test strip it does not even have a recommendation on total chlorine but probably it's due because it's a calculation of free chlorine plus combined chlorine and so mm, you really have to calculate it would be good to have something in between where where it says how to calculate and what will be good or not good so anyway you it's really important I mean when you have an open pool a lot of sunlight usually you won't have a problem with the total chlorine or with the combined chlorine and you have to check just free chlorine levels you have to maintain them on a certain like decent amount at least decent level so uh, it, it, it's able to sanitize your pool so here we have another thing so we see uh, okay a put it a little bit to the right and hopefully you can see it's a little bit difficult so here another test strip and as you can see free chlorine there is a low okay and high and there's also total chlorine where there is no indication what it is so usually a lot of people when they see oh there's nothing uh, yeah okay I don't care but there is the combined chlorine which is not visible on the test strip and you have to calculate it and it's really really important so yeah for me it, it only happened now the, the, the problem with the combined chlorine now only occurred when I started using a standalone hot tub which is covered most of the time because it has really hot water and I don't want to uh, waste the heat so if you don't uh, use a cover you have to I mean the problem is with a standalone is only with a standalone uh, hot tub if you have uh, something which is included in your pool you can heat it up fast you don't have to keep it hot you can heat it usually very fast if you have a heater uh, that's really good and so you don't have to uh, you don't need a, a cover um, but if you have standalone especially when, when and then you you're heating with electricity and then you have to cover because otherwise it takes uh, sometimes full day or so 
to heat it up okay and no sunlight means uh, it won't be able to reduce the uh, amount of combined chlorine and the combined chlorine is a chlorine that's been used up by the sanitation process of the water while it's still in the water it's able to sanitize uh, is, uh, its ability to sanitize is reduced compared to free chlorine on a level of about I have read a lot of things some say 20 times sometimes so some sites say up to 60 times less ability to sanitize a pool than the free chlorine so it's almost useless the combined chlorine is almost useless you know, so you should get rid of that as fast as possible because it's not a good thing uh, usually the combined chlorine is the chlorine which you can smell if you get to a pool or spa or, or a hot tub or something like that and it has a really strong chlorine taste it usually comes from uh, high levels of combined chlorine which is used up chlorine and it should not be there uh, and they should either use UV light or uh, shock or dilute it with new water so again here we have the free chlorine which is good you need that on a level between one and three parts per million which is ppm to sanitize and then if you have a total amount a total chlorine which is higher than the free chlorine the difference is combined chlorine which shows never on these things here okay so um, yeah let's keep going here I fi found a really really good site um, I will sh I will put down all the links to these sites so you can click on on, on them uh, you don't have to write down the links this is another perfect pool news.com and this is one of the best um, like uh, information which I found about uh, chemicals in pool and especially about the free chlorine they explain really good how much that work uh, the free chlorine see same thing 2 to 4 ppm is okay and the combined chlorine should be actually zero if it's low it's okay but it's above 0 0.5 it's not good so if the difference of if the difference of between free chlorine and total chlorine is more than 0 0.5 it's not really good and you have to act so some countries use really heavy use like european din regulation it says to overcome um, issues with combined chlorine uh, in, in Germany it requires a pool be drained once a month or a quarter every week or one third <laughs> every day uh, third <laughs> something like that yeah you see that uh, fresh water has to be added a lot and universal use of ozone or UV for pools uh, yeah can be maintained yeah okay can be used to maintain or something like that so from like chemical points uh, of view if you are, are not able to drain the pool or hot tub then you can use break point break point chlorination to reduce the combined Cl uh, chlorine levels of course if you have a hot tub uh, spa jacuzzi um, with like say uh, around 200 gallons or so it you can drain it uh, I suggest to drain it anyway every month or so or every couple of weeks uh, at least to get rid of all the dirt and everything because it's not a lot and you can use it to water uh, your uh, lawn and it yeah I mean it's just about 200 gallons it will cost you maybe 10 cents or something like that it's not really costly but of course if you 
have same problem with a pool like 10,000 gallons which is average pool size and you have to refill it's gonna cost you at least five dollars and it can be really dangerous you shouldn't drain your pool just without professional support you can easily ruin your pool because of pressure and those things so yeah break point chlorination I will show later on how this works here again ultraviolet and on ozone and yeah they say yeah breakpoint chlorination is a point at which enough free chlorine is added to eliminate all the combined chlorine uh, yeah uh, I will show this later how how it works how much you need so here they write to achieve breakpoint you have to use about 10 times the amount of uh, I mean add, add chlorine or something like chlorine there is uh, like like shock you should you have to shock it so shock at uh, 10 times the amount of the combined chlorine e uh, either with cl chlorine shock or non chlorine shock and it has to stay there for one two four hours there is fast shock which the law uh, dissolves within 15 minutes or so so probably that won't work I've already tried it with uh, this fast dissolving shock and it didn't work um, yeah of course I mean it's it's actually safe to uh, reduce when you uh, add a lot of chlorine but if you of course if you add too much fresh like free chlorine then it may take a long time to drop to safe levels before you can re-enter your pool okay so what is really really important this is an all or nothing process so insufficient chlorine will worsen the problem resulting in more chloramines formed means chloramines means combined combined chlorine and it gets even even worse repeated shocking without reaching break point will result in pool reaching a point of no return so the only thing will be to drain okay partial or completely drain of the pool water and refilling with fresh water maybe then may then be necessary so that means if you have a hot spa a hot tub or spa or something like that you can play around of course if you don't reach break point or you mess it up yeah just drain it and start from scratch if you have a pool and you mess it up mm, that's gonna be costly or yeah I mean uh, at least it will be a lot of work and you can ruin your pool with have having to drain so you better call your uh, a professional pool company to take care about high combined chlorine levels so here uh, there's another page saying about combined chlorine if combined chlorine is above 0 0.5 ppm you should slam your pool that's another way they, they have a site where they describe how to slam uh, they use it to get rid of algae or high combined um, chlorine levels but it's uh, quite uh, a, lo a lot of work I haven't heard about this thing so I suggest actually to use uh, to, to, to shock it but with, with enough um, chlorine or non-chlorine shock and here again the answer to the question is the question is whether you use a chlorinated non-chlorinated shock will depend on how much chlo total chlorine you have in your pool or spa if your total chlorine level is high means maybe 10 or something like that you will use a non-chlorine shock if it's low you can use a chlorinated shock so and now that's the solution finally to the whole thing it's uh, on poolserviceMA.com I will put down the link as well there's a calculator and this is really really important 
it to figure out how much uh, yeah, chlorine you have to put in or yeah, how much shock uh, how much yeah, chlorine you need to shock your pool to get rid of combined uh, chlorine so the thing is actually I think we can put everything to zero here everything I hope it won't mind the important is let's say we have a free chlorine of two which is okay or let's say three which is in the middle but the total chlorine is 10 so we have a combined chlorine of seven so let's say pH is okay about seven two and pool volume is 200 gallons that's about an average hot tub so I click on calculate and I can go down and as you can see um, apart from calcium and everything which we are we are not interested here we get the information what we should to show what we should do uh, to shock and get rid of combined chlorine um, yeah so they say the exact uh, amount like gallons of sodium hyper thing something you want pounds of calcium thing th uh, hyperchlorite or 0.2 pounds of this and so anyway uh, I think the th thing which I'm using is this one means 0.2 pounds of the normal shock this is the thing which you find on Walmart and probably at most places and this is really important so I would probably use a little bit more and definitely I would suggest not uh, to use a fast dissolving shock because as, as you have seen on the other page uh, you shouldn't use fast dissolving because it needs one to four hours to get to this breakpoint and if you use fast dissolving the chlorine level goes down after 15 minutes and it will do nothing for your combined chlorine of course you can leave uh, your hot tub open for a couple of days and probably the combined chlorine level will go down but it takes really long time so I suggest to use this calculator here and they will tell you how much it needs so it's a lot 0 0.2 pounds for um, of, of, of shock for uh, such a small small uh, hot tub or spa but it's definitely needed I can tell you if, if you don't if you if you just try with half of it uh, half amount it, it won't work and really it makes everything only worse and you really really have to be careful I, I will put down the link to this document this is really really important because a lot of people think combined chlorine is not important but read this thing chloramine fumes means combined chlorine fumes can cause lung con uh, congested and cause sneezing sinus coughing choking blah 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 uh, shortness of breeze and asthma I think it is also say uh, about cancer con uh, increase cause increase in asthma due to exposure uh, yes yeah, you can see uh, damages uh, I don't know this word mucus membranes and I'm pretty sure they will show also about uh, cancer that it can um, cause cancer on the long term uh, of course this is huge this usually only happens when you are using your hot tub or spa or pool whatever indoor so usually when, it, when you're using outdoor these things like chloramine fumes is no problem outside but I, I, I would still be really careful as you see there is also skin problems there can be skin problems with high uh, high levels of combined chlorine like rash itching and so on even up to bleeding pigmentation 
that's not good can cause bleeding lips that's crazy uh, you have to be really careful also it can affect digestive and gastric uh, area and cause problems that can damage and it's really really crazy so there are a lot of things uh, yes yeah, so you, you you really have to be absolutely careful about that and don't get lazy when you see something like that uh, total chlorine level which doesn't say anything about not okay I think these these uh, things here are a little bit dangerous and a lot of people who do not uh, attend uh, like uh, schools real um, good education and so they can when they just start with these things like let's say you buy a hot tub on Amazon and put it up and test it and you see something like mm, doesn't say anything about risk or high or danger or something you probably will neglect it and think mm, it's okay I don't care it's nothing I have to just worry about free, free chlorine but is it is not the total chlorine level is really really important uh, and always when you take the measurements when you dip your test strip into the water and check don't only check the free chlorine all also check the total chlorine and deduct the amount of free chlorine and you will see what levels of combined chlorine you have and if you have to do something so I uh, yeah this is 20 minutes I think it's more than enough I will put down all the links you need and yeah if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time